They have a very beautiful way of working here at Stella Polaris. I only knew that there was a lot of um, physical theater, theater influences in it. I think everything that I've been doing is pretty much related. I can find pieces of it in physical theater and I find piece of it here at Stella a lot. They work very, very hard, but then they have these breaks like with massage and stick, so everything is very well uh, balanced. I've been feeling very, <laughs> very bad. Um, it ha has nothing to do with the, the things here, but I had, uh, before I got here too, I was feeling not very good and I thought that maybe coming here would help. And then when we started all this work that is a lot about yourself, a lot about the energies and there a lot of people with very big energies here that like spreads them everywhere. And, and uh, I thought that I'd become like, uh, closed myself up because it was too much and then at the same time working with with all these really spiritual stuff that awakens a lot of things so it felt like nothing came in and inside me I just like almost everyone is an actor here is after the acting school or is a dancer or singer I am not um, I just, uh, actually I don't have any background at singing and dancing, for example, or acrobatic stuff, nothing. So every time I felt like um, I'm not good enough, I don't have this background and it was really, really difficult. So every day was really difficult for me, is very difficult, yes. I have got, um, during the, every each day, um, there are many challenges for me uh, and Many times I take this challenge, but from time to time I don't. Ready position, attack on the right knee. you only have one month and you know that you wanna you know you you wanna take like all you can get from anybody like a vampire you know like the only one that you can really work with is yourself and then then you can of course share what you have learned but if you haven't learned it from the beginning then you can't share it so I guess in Yes, the only one that you can really work with is yourself. So in a sense, everything that we do is selfish. But I don't think that's bad at all. Like yourself is the one that you have. Bu yasa sonrasında da gelen bu. İkna hastalığında sağlıklı amratında. And you're all white white. I mean, white white. This is Armenian national. Uh, in 90, 90. Uh, it's ready? Yes. Nice. Ah, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> See you. <laughs> it's only it's a opportunity. <laughs> 
Sometimes I fear, but they are good for me to don't stop, to uh, try to get new things. And here I'm feeling that I have many things to learn. I have very difficult with rhythmics. I'm not a really good singer. And these things uh, make me think Sometimes, uh, if I, I can be a good actor or not. You can come, become uncertain. Like, what is this and what is this? And then you're like, oh no, now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm doing it wrong. Now I'm not free enough. Now I'm not doing this. Oh no, I'm thinking that I'm not free enough. And that's really bad. <laughs> now I'm doing everything wrong. It is a challenge to be here because you're working out quite a lot physically so of course sometimes I think that I might not have the, the strength to do certain things but in the end it's only the mind because we still have time we always have time and I would like to talk about two exercises that we did when we did this um, relax active uh, exercise with um, African music and with sounds of water.
because I could uh, feel uh, the water, uh, I could view how the water was very dark, the fishes, and I was like, uh, I don't know how to say that, in the water, under the water. And when the exercise finished, I felt very, very, very connected with myself and I felt like very small but at the same time very big uh, and, and I couldn't move, I, couldn't move. I, I, I, I felt so calm with peace and I, I, I didn't want to move because I, I feel really good. But the, the exercise finished and I had to move. And when I start to move, I don't know why I start to cry. At Bahin, Omen make na in Kazad. Make a hands, yes, your picture can turn on them, Kokin is rank over at Bahin. Taransas and Minchas and Chumkaras, Morina Gamma training, Nerijamana, the rebots from us. Uh, with the mouse club. So that the family connections are not as strong as they were back then and that maybe we feel lost in all the in all the modern world and that we need to awaken our our roots and connect with them again I've been thinking sometimes like when you're in town that that you walk on a in the street, and the street is made for walking on, and you go in a car, and the car is made for driving and transporting you somewhere. And then you ask yourself, like, why am I here? But when you're out, like here in nature, then it's like you don't think that, like, how dare the tree grow there? Like, how can it take up space? And it's not made for any specific purpose either. It's just, it's just, it's there. <laughs> I think when I'm in nature is when I open myself more easy than being in a city, for example. Because nature always has the space. And when you feel you have the space, then you allow things to come out or to come in. And that's when creativity is, is born for me in this allowing and sharing as well for me it's more like a free free sensation free of freedom a feeling of freedom or love 
of happiness, or maybe sadness, all kinds of emotions. And it, it inspires me to write, to dance, to, to be, to breathe, to go on in life. Zgadz aras, guys. Gain kez motik asnum en benutiana. Benutiana motik astelo berum en irans armat nerin. Berum en irans mi falo gaine troll neri masim pat nutiana yeval yeval en. Deran sov berum en viking nerin. Uas amenin chen pesanan vur du uzas te chuzas du et amenin chim meches matnu. Pahitak sen transitak esen berum du havatum es vur. Ha et amenin chi rokka. Et troll la apru maste. Ha es hori tak kaing. I think when we have been playing like trolls, for example, in the forest, I, I, I lose my think my normal behavior and just go into this fantasy world. Um, we had this uh, exercise once with Per <laughs> that we went to the forest. We had to find a tree, to hug the tree, and stay like this for some time. We were running around the forest and in the moment that we had to hug the tree I was really connected with the, with the earth. So I, f I felt that my feet uh, were the raíces, yeah? And I felt my body like the, the tronco and my head and my my arms. So I am connected to the tree, so I am connected with the roots. So I am very here and the roots are connected to the whole earth. And I felt that I am really a part of it. Like a part of this world, a part of this earth, a part of the nature. The forest is still mysterious to us, I, I guess, and it's wild, it's wild, it's not, it's not tame, and I think that we're very tame, like, the, like everything in the civilized society is ordered and like beaten into submission, it's like there and then I know exactly where I have everything, so then I'm safe. Because I know this, I know where it is. And here it's all everywhere. And you can't clean this floor away because it's, it's like this. <laughs> but it's still safe. I talked to the forest about my worries, my thoughts and sometimes just sensing the silence or the energy that is around, around me or around us but it's, it's that if I have a, something in my heart or something in my mind it's quite easy to come here and just express it openly to the to the trees or to the birds, to the wind. Anything can be listening. And it just comes out and goes away. <laughs>
vida, vida, toda vida mejor. The life of a pirate is very good. Trabajar without a job, sin estudiar, no studies or either. Con la botella de rum. With a bottle of rum. Something uh, across the sea. Pero quiero tirar. Some beautiful girls. Yeah. <laughs> a girl in every shore. Me la quiero follar. A little mm, there and a little mm, here and you know. Cola botella de rum. With a bottle of rum. But then you could be like Johnny Depp that never wants to see his movies. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't but it's like, but I want to watch all the movies. Yeah, but also I want to see like how, how yeah, but I want to see how I'm done, but at the same time I'm like... So if I push towards that, then the boat goes Please. like that? Yeah. If you pull towards it, it goes to the right. It goes like that. Yeah. If I pull like that, yeah. it goes we like go that. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I mean, you can see we're turning now. Ah, it's, okay. it's just a, it's a little slow. It so you know, so when you pull, Whoa. it takes a while, then the boat comes around. Okay, it does come. Yeah. This is Vikings. Yeah. yeah, this is the, the rudder they found in the Goxta Mound with this ship. Well, not this ship, but the, the original. And they found this as well. So this is a copy of the original. Mm. Okay, guys! Now it's time to combat! It's time to attack! Okay? We go to France and we kill everybody! Oh, yeah, it's it's beautiful! And I think, I think what I'm realizing now when we're working, working with them in this, in this, um, when we're working with them in the theater, that it becomes very evident that that the gods are very, or not only the gods but the stories, they're they're very very human. That they're not perfect and doing nothing wrong or something, but it tells about different people and how you handle life and that it's okay because it's human <laughs> For me, 
mythology is pretty much like it's a symbolic language. So I, I maybe I don't always understand everything, but it's a little bit like physical theater maybe or working with with body, body, body expressions because it you don't really understand everything, but some uh, some things can touch you anyway. I am um, I always was um, very very hard realistic person. Um, I do not believe in any God. Um, I'm just atheist. And um, the thing that uh, really impressed me a lot uh, while being here and um, having this uh, experience uh, with the Vikings and the Viking uh, history and mythology. Um, this is really something very strong for me. Uh, the most important thing that influenced me is, uh, is the rituals. I could feel on myself the power, the big power and energy uh, during um, our workshops. harmony that um, I really start to feel that uh, I start to feel yes that um, we are the body and the mind and the energy and the nature and other people uh, we are all this and it cannot be cut it on pieces. This is everything that makes us being as we are. Right now it's very much about the tissue. I want to manage it, I want to be able to do it. And it's, it's actually, it's given me a lot because uh, uh, it feels like a little like victory for myself to be able to do it since I have the children's uh, rheumatism. Reuma, and uh, so I really felt like in the beginning of the week that that my joints, they were really, uh, especially my, like my knees and my, my fingers after this stick uh, dance with the, the reindeer thing, I really felt that it, I hurt so much everywhere and I was like, oh my God. So I, I'm really, really proud of myself just for that because I never, I never even thought that I could do it. But I don't know if all of us are going to be in the final performance, but at least we're practicing now. But let's see, because Babyon and Jibni are really, really strong. <laughs> and I'm really not that strong as they are, but, but I'm smaller and easier, so maybe. It's again this thing with the realm. I have to show myself that I can, I can do stuff, even though I maybe don't have the same 
maybe not at the same level as everybody. Like I can't start from the same level as everybody else. Maybe I have to uh, work myself up always somehow. <laughs> for the society and the 19th of March mm -hmm. we burned these monuments in all the city. Like I miss this kind of carnival things in Sweden. In Poland it's no carnival. No, in Sweden. Why? It's really because we are sad. No, it's not connected with sadness. <laughs> no, our folk is very happy, I think. We are art country. It's really boring. It's going very quick. Fast. Wow. It's a bit tricky with these chains actually. I wanted to make my own fire fans last year. And now I'm kind of doing it. Even though these are, are not mine, they're just from Stella Polaris. Was in forest, forest. near my favorite tree that I saw. Fish, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Zabijasz na mnie komara. Zabijasz mi jedzenie moje jedzenie. Yes! Four! Guys! One! I'm ready! One is okay, ready, then you can help on yes. the okay, okay. Go, go, go down slowly. Ready!
what uh, they called gods were ancestors and they played in, in plays in theater like here they played theater for sure because it was on the graves that they played the theater in the burial periods and uh, and in this uh, in this place they played all the time the characters of their ancestors they gave them ceremonial uh, positions and so in that way they are in now all the time Odin was here and now I think Odin was many many many kings <laughs> to look into the different cultures to see if there are similarities in the way of singing, in the way of dancing, in the way of moving, in the uh, way of temperature inside and outside <laughs> and then the nature of each other and there are a lot of similarities but it's still different and we can, for me I can see that we are one whole family but still I can also see that we are mentally different and that is uh, of course uh, uh, important to, to, uh, to know about when you make this performance because the performance will change every year 
from what kind of nationalities we have in the project. This will give the temperature, the kind of balanced line in, the, in this, the whole performance. If it's a lot of uh, fire people, the performance will go in fire. Och det är ju visst då vita kvar Huvudet är sitt, hör är din fot Bättre om hän som vittar skall Hej med det liv och lätt Tills bort han var som vet på liv Lår han sig samman med kloka folk Alltså då, hur ser det samma? Var hilset den helige år? Visst då var makt, var är oss sitt Och lägen det händer i liv Tryck! Bring your head to the front. The most dominant man in the world. The most dominant man in the world. The most dominant man in the world. The most dominant man in the world. centuries we have believed that the body is nothing worth in the pre-christian times they had rituals where they danced out uh, uh, for the fertilization of the the ground for the weddings for all this now we only have short one day or maybe some hours where we meet to dance in the wedding.
make a sacrificial of a, a king. And this is a very dramatic thing for us today. That uh, like uh, there was one uh, woman that they sacrificed together with him when he died. <laughs> I really can do whatever I whatever I want if I just set my mind to do it and really want to do it. Chibni also is really, really inspired by it. and So we're both gonna continue with it when we go home. And I'm gonna buy the, the tissue and, and really like work with it because I like it so much. It has changed me more than I thought that it would. So it's exciting to move on. I think I'm gonna take with me from here a strong connection to, to both my body and to the nature around. And also actually to <laughs> the ancestors that we've been talking so much about, that I have gotten a completely different picture of it now. Because before I've been feeling that Vikings, it's a bit outdated. It's, and now it feels like a very big part of me. Not, not just the Vikings, but all the mythology and like the energies that still is everywhere. I take with me uh, a new Roman as well, with more energy and with uh, things more clear about my, my life and uh, the way that I want to, to follow and I would like to take all the memories with me to and don't forget well, how I was feeling here myself because I want to to try to feel like I'm feeling here in everywhere. <laughs> I think just for myself, uh, my, my artistic approach is to somehow embody the life in me. I, um, I feel very alive with, with artistic expressions, like without them I, I think I, I couldn't stand this society. I feel 
that um, the world should be like this, but uh, I have never been in such space that um, everyone is so nice to each other, so tender, so helpful. A big discovery was um, was trust. You can trust people here. It's not that I don't usually trust, it's about mostly being taken care because I've had sad days and I've had people around me worrying or caring about me. So that was a that was a beautiful surprise. Everybody you meet inform you will give some impulse and some energy. Every culture you meet transform it. So in that way you will always move. If you sit static somewhere, you gather energy and it gets poisoned after a while but if you move and you meet people from different culture, you will all the time transform. And there will always be something or oh, another that you met in your soul in your heart and in your body and here also as well all the, the participants in the project chose some thing from the nature that they got a kind of relation to and they have put this object out here somewhere in the nature and I believe like the all forefathers, the, the old ancestors, that this, what they left out there will give new, renew this place for something bigger to come. Oh my god, well, it's very heavy. Yeah, it is. I'm so tired. <laughs> Yeah.